possessed beings. Come on. They're unconscious, or maybe even dead. I'd prefer not to find out. This decoration in the middle of the courtyard looks like a kind of water drain or something similar. Now why on earth should someone build a hole right here? Perfect! It fits in the hole perfectly. There's always a medallion involved in things like this. skeletons are on their knees, either as a homage to visitors, or maybe to warn them. I think it's some kind of fountain. Hmm, looks like there's a strange hole in it. Let's hope this is the last of the Templar's riddles. I'm getting a bit tired of them. The shape of this hole is similar to that of the Imago Sanctissimus. Whiskers, you're Cardinal Gregorio! You seem to be surprised, Mr. Danther. Now, would you please hand over the medallion, if you don't mind? I do mind. Tell me, is this small medallion worth all the blood of all those people? You filthy bastard, I'd like to- Come, come, young man. You wouldn't attack an elderly man of the cloth, would you? How dare you call yourself a man of the cloth? You've betrayed the Vatican. You've brought a cruel, ruthless sect back to life. You've committed murder just to gain wealth and power. Ah, Miss McKendall, do you believe that noble souls still exist? I'll be very sorry to have to give your father the news of your death. I've known him for years, and I've always admired his humanity. Now, if you don't mind... Tell me something, Cardinal. Why did you call me to Miami for the interview instead of coming to my house to capture me? You're always the journalist, Mr. Danta. Wanting the answers even when you're about to die. Especially when I'm about to die. I tried to make the best plan possible. But unfortunately, I hadn't taken into consideration the death of your uncle. You see, my followers didn't kill Frank Danta. Your uncle was murdered by some petty criminal while he was following one of my disciples. Let's put it this way. It was a tragic fatality. Or divine intervention. It seems that you knew Frank much better than I did. I'll tell you a secret. 
It was Frank who discovered the importance of the Imago Sanctissimus and the concrete proof that the medallion really existed. He realized that the medallion had been forged by melting down the 30 pieces of silver that Judas had accepted to betray Christ and realized that it had the power to reveal a map of all life forms in the entire universe. It was as if Christ had wanted to create something precious out of the symbol of his betrayal. Poor Frank, however, never managed to find out who the betrayer in the Vatican's secret services was. He certainly suspected me, especially after he found me rummaging through the papers about the secret of the Imago Sanctissimus. But he never found enough proof to take to the Pope, and now he's dead. He died to protect this seal. And is this secret so precious that it justifies all the blood that's been spilt in its name? My dear, the history of man should have taught you that the only things mankind really want are power and wealth. And that's all. Religion, the church, and politics. Nothing but excuses to hide the truth. Man's greed. My sect has been studying this plan for centuries. And I'm the last link in the chain. I'm the one who will finally find the answer and bring the church, as we know it today, to its knees. They've been telling us lies for thousands of years, and knowing the reason behind the meaning of life would lead to the destruction of the old false church and the birth of a new one based on absolute truth and... And blood and death? And just to make men like you richer? The church has always been built on spilled blood. And it always helped men like myself to become rich. Besides, this won't make any difference to you or your friend, Mr. Danta. You're both as good as dead. Now, if you don't mind... Medallion! We've got to get it back. It's the secret of life, don't you see? No. I think neither you nor I will understand. Nobody will. If we really want to understand life, we've got to learn to look around us and inside us. Maybe the true role of the Imago Sanctissimus was to stop monsters like Cardinal Gregorio. How many centuries have gone by? And yet my hand still burns like it did on the day Christ came back from the dead. Judas. You. At last. My most beloved disciple. Your task is finally over. In the end, humanity has proven to be unworthy to know how precious the message hidden inside the medallion forged by Peter, using the 30 pieces of silver was. Mankind has been given the possibility of choosing. And it has chosen. You've been waiting for thousands of years. And finally the moment has arrived for you to come to me. In your name. 
now and forever.